Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Manchester City win the treble with Rodri and Ederson a heroes against Inter. There are not many fans who turn up for only the second game of their supporting lives and watch their club seal the greatest treble with Europe's greatest club's tries. But then Sheikh Mansour has sunk the best part of £2 billion into Manchester City, and perhaps even more. The clock stops, the curtain falls, the last pillar of resistance falls. Football belongs to Abu Dhabi's club in the east of Manchester for now at least. 15 years to reorder the game, defeat Dufa at their own regulatory game and build a team that no one else can beat. They have already been champions of England seven times in 12 years and now Pep Guardiola's team have repeated the epic 1999 single-season achievement of Sir Alex Ferguson's Manchester United, Premier League, FA Cup, Champions League. In all the time, their mysterious benefactor from Abu Dhabi has only found time to watch his creation once before this night on the outskirts of Istanbul. But he was here this time to see the final conquering this time of Internazionale, who put up a splendid fight until the ball broke loose in the box on 68 minutes and Rodri swept it home to remind everyone this is how it usually goes. This was more memorable for not being the perfectly grooved, unstoppable City performance, but they also have a solution for those nights. They wrote it out and then in the minutes before Rodri's goal you could hear the distant rumble of another City victory. Guardiola has won all now for his bosses in the Gulf. 24 years have passed since Ferguson's thrilling win at the now camp in the same year that City emerged from the third tier. The 21st century has been much kinder to City. They found themselves at the perfect confluence of money, politics and power and the talent that it can bring, and now they have their own treble. It felt inevitable with this team, if not now then soon. There is still the book of Premier League's 115 charges against them, the replaying of the case that Dufa could not make stick three years ago. This is not a glory story without its caveats. Yet with every trophy, each resetting of the geopolitical order, City feel more powerful. This final had some of the jeopardy that finals are supposed to have. There was an early injury for Kevin De Bruyne that forced him out another final amid a poor first half for City. There was a great late chance for Inter's Romelu Lukaku which he steered into exactly the spot that Ederson could save. Even great teams can fall at the last yet even there were only a few moments of doubt for City. Guardiola's third Champions League title, his second domestic treble 14 years after the first with Barcelona, was executed by his players according to the agreed strategy. That was no doubt why Sheikh Mansour found the time to attend. With this man in charge of his team, the chances of suffering some great unplanned for embarrassment was unlikely in the extreme. The late missed chance from Lukaku, a substitute, on loan following that ruinous move to Chelsea, was another reminder of the missteps others have made while City have called it right decision after decision. They are formidably good at this and 15 years is not that long a time to get so much right. How they have done it, is a matter still to be decided. This was Guardiola's 300th win as city manager, in his 413th game in charge. By way of comparison the team with the second most wins in a similar period of 63 fewer. Although this felt like an end in some respects it will also seem to many like a start of something even more formidable for Guardiola. A wall has been broken through and Guardiola said later he wanted much more. Internazionale took the courageous option to try to probe City for errors and they got much closer than many expected. Simone Inzaghi's team were a surprise finalist but this is not exactly one of Europe's lightweights. Inter have three European Cups of their own, and yet these days the opposition who are expected to bend themselves out of shape to try to beat City. Inter had a strong first half, and in Federico Di Marco on their left side, one of the game's outstanding players. They hustled City out of their rhythm and capitalized on the small advantages of a heavy pitch and a referee determined to pass as much as he could. Afterwards Guardiola paid tribute to City's hierarchy for choosing not to sack him when he failed to deliver the Champions League in previous years. It is hard to reconcile the gratitude with what we know about City and the Abu Dhabi ownership. They have bet the house on Guardiola and shaped the club to accommodate him. They are right to do so and whatever they have planned for life after him it will never be as good. 
The question is how that Premier League investigation might affect the relationship between them. Guardiola could be seen shouting relax, relax, to his players in the first half but he looked most unrelaxed himself. De Bruyne would come off with a strain that adrenaline and the occasion could not overcome. In last Saturday's FA Cup final City had been ahead in 13 seconds. This time Ederson was launching balls into touch and Rodri, later off as man of the match, found himself pounced on in midfield. Guardiola would say that the usual passing channels had been shut down and that his players had not anticipated the movement of Inter's players. He said he knew that Inter's shape had left John Stones free when he moved into midfield, it had just taken a while for the penny to drop with his team. Erling Haaland finishes the season with just that final 50-second goal in his last eight games. He only had one chance. Phil Foden, who replaced De Bruyne, had one fine turn that got him in on goal but the finisher did not match the build-up. It was Rodri who was decisive from Bernardo Silva's deflected cross to score the winner. Left out the starting lineup, Kyle Walker played the last few minutes. Guardiola said later that his team struggled at the end, but it is all relative. They would have found another way to win. Pep Guardiola, Sir Alex Ferguson sent me a touching message before City sealed treble. Pep Guardiola said that he received a touching message from Sir Alex Ferguson on the morning of the Champions League final on Saturday night, that saw Manchester City's Catalan coach repeat the achievement of the treble season of Manchester United in 1998-99. Guardiola said, one of the main reasons why this club became where we are is the people from Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mansour, take over the club. Without that we wouldn't be here. They are the most important people. They support me unconditionally in the defeats in this competition. In many clubs that would not happen and you were sacked. So I give incredible credit to my hierarchy, to my CEO, Ferran Soriano, but I am not going to be confused. Today we could have lost a game and when you lose your failures all those adjectives. This year was written in the stars we win. He joked that City now had Real Madrid's 14 European Cups in their sights. We are just 13 behind them. Be careful Real Madrid because we are on our way. If you sleep a little bit we will catch you. Guardiola added, you cannot compare, but now we have the first. I don't want after one Champions League to disappear. We have to work hard next season and be there. There are teams who win the Champions League and disappear in one or two years. We have to avoid that. Knowing me it is not going to happen but it is a big relief to have this trophy. Now we don't get asked about winning the first one. The entire world say if we don't win the Champions League we will not be complete and I agree. I have to accept it. Maybe it is me that is wrong in winning 5 Premier Leagues and arriving in 3, Champions League, semi-finals is, not, exceptional. But everyone says you have to win. People say I have to win trebles every season. I am a good manager but not good enough to win trebles every season. I like this competition for the fact we won it, and we are part of history. Players will be remembered for the rest of their lives but now give credit for five Premier Leagues won in six years. It is important. Now people forget, so create a museum. What we have done in the last years is unbelievable. There was no reference from Guardiola to the 115 Premier League charges against the clubs for breaching financial regulations that threaten the legacy of this era. The club defeated a similar set of charges for MUFA on appeal three years ago although they were fined 10 million euros for failing to cooperate with that investigation. Jack Grealish said to BT Sport, this is what you work your whole life for. I played so bad today, I was awful. But I don't care. To win the treble with this group is so special. I am a family person and this is so special, you dream your whole life of this. You think back to all the people that have helped you along the way. I am feeling emotional thinking about it, thinking about my family. The manager is a genius. I said to him just now thank you, thank you for buying me and allowing this to happen for me. The captain, OK Gundogan, said it had not been City's best performance. He said, it is difficult to put into words. Today, we made history. It was difficult for both teams. We weren't at our best in the first half, although we did have a couple of good chances. We were better in the second half. 
It was a 50-50 game. We feel very fortunate. It hasn't sunken yet. Obviously we knew everyone was talking about the treble so there was pressure. But this team is built to withstand pressure. John Stone said that the treble was a high bar for any club in any era. I feel so pleased, he said. It is a pleasure to be part of this team. There has only been one other treble. I am holding words back because I am on camera. We have set the bar high now. From where we were in the Premier League, to come back and do this. I played more of a number 8 today. I don't think I am the best in there but I tried. Eddie, Ederson, saving that one off the line, I don't think I would be standing here talking to you if he hadn't saved that. The party later? Well I have got to do doping control first. But after that.